Lifetime at Riverfront, first inning no score. Ron Gant, the grounder to Jeff Blauser, and the throw home is wide. Jerome Walton scores, one nothing Reds. In the sixth, it's Gant again, the fly to right. And how good an athlete is Dave Justice? He's got it all, married to Halle Berry. And look at Dave, just climb up there. Oh, David! John Smiley shut down the Braves, gets the 6-4-3 double play. But John Smiley was pulled after seven. He threw just 82 pitches, allowed one hit. In his last start, Smiley felt he should have been yanked earlier. He gave up two homers in the eighth. Back to this game. The Reds almost blew this one. Ninth inning, Fred McGriff, rough, rough, takes Jeff Brantley deep, 3-1 Reds. But Brantley, close the door, turn off the lights. Sounds like Teddy Pendergrass. Reds win, sit down Dave. Lavin loses his first game in 13 starts at Riverfront despite allowing only four hits. Smiley one hits the Braves. Together, Mets GM Joe McElvain has promised wholesale changes, but no one told Ryan Thompson. Mickey Morandini lines win to center. Ryan has no hope. Rolls to the wall. Two runs score. A triple for Mickey. 3 0 Phils. No one told pitcher Blast Minor either. Top eight, 4 2 Phils. Tommy Marsh connects for his second home run of the game, a two run shot. Marsh's fourth homer in three major league seasons. Phils win at 6 2, and that's a long face by Dallas Green. The Phillies have now won five straight and opened a four-game lead over the Braves. And he performs an oral extraction. Greenwell's fifth home run of the year, and the Red Sox are up 1-0 early. And now in our never-ending effort to bring you the latest on Jose Canseco's comeback here is at bat number one. Ground ball, Jim Tomey, 5-3. Jose's 0 for 1. Top of three, Mo Vaughn unloading off of Hershiser. 17th home run, 44th RBI, and now here comes Jose at bat number two. An authoritative swing, no doubt. He's 0 for 2. Now to the sixth, up again, and another ground ball to Tomei, 5 to 3. He's 0 for 3. Bottom of six, Eric Hansen gets the help behind him. John Valentin, barehander, that means he's into skin. 3 to 1, Boston, back to Jose, falling down 0 for 4. Carlos Baerga on first now. Albert Bell hits it a long way. Looks like a home run. Sounds like a home run. Baerga thinks it's a home run. So he trots around as if he's going to score on a home run. Unfortunately, it was caught. He gets doubled up. That is not heads up. Base running the Red Sox for a winner 3-1. to one. Their first win in seven tries at the Jake Oral Hershey. Mariners at the White Sox, top of five. Two to one Sox. Mark Newfield smacks one to left. Tim Raines is into leather and he likes to. Oh, he can't find that one. And we mean he literally. Where is the ball? He cannot. We have a situation of not being able to. There it is. But by the time he comes up with it, Newfield has got an inside the park home run. We're tied at two. And this gets even more bizarre. Bottom of six. Tied at four, Robbie Ventura. Called out looking, and he does not like that call from Tim McClellan. Tosses his bat. Take your Toss that to you. You're gone. Terry Bevington then and takes up the argument, and he is incensed, and he likewise would get tossed. He doesn't have the Phil Regan Alaskan nose dance, but he, he is steaming, and we hope you can't read lips. And here he goes. You think he's gone, but if he's going to get tossed, Terry Bevington, he's going to get his money's worth, and he does. About three and a half minutes, and it just goes on and on and on. Take a shower. Forget the hitter on this play. What we're going to show you here comically is John Cruck trying to score from second on a single. That does not work. He is not happy. But then again, nobody is in this game. We're still tied at four. Top of seven, same score. Diaz facing Jose De Leon, the shot to center, and yeah, Lance Johnson really is into leather, and so we go to the 10th, bases loaded, still tied, and John Cruck gets his revenge. The outfield is in, but it has to go back out. Sacrifice, fly, Tim Raines scores in the Sox in a wild, wild game, or a winner, or are they a winner? Lou Pinella is going to protest the call, but he decides he can't find the umpire, so he's just going to forget about it. Five to four in 10, the inside the looking for win number two. But he's got to help himself if he wants that. Cannot handle the grounder from Pat Rapp. Marlins lead 2-1. to one. Then in the second, Mario Diaz with the tapper left side, and nobody comes up with that either. Rocky's defense gives the Marlins a 3-1 to one lead. But the Marlins defense would, of course, return the favor. We have the summit at Yalta between Chuck Carr and Tommy Gregg. Rockies tie it up on that miscue at 3. Still same score in the fourth. Walt Weiss on first. Mike Kingry the shot. Carr thinks he's Willie Mays, but you know what? He just isn't. Run scores and the Rockies go on to win at 6-3. Marlins have 
not been diagnosed with the fear of flying, but they are only 2 and 14 on getaway days. Andre Scalaraga in the midst of a 2 for 14 slump did not start for just the fourth time this year. Last place Pirates hosting the Giants. Jim Leland watching his Pirates blow an early lead, then tied at four in the ninth. How about a double on a squeeze bunt play? Robbie Thompson lays it down. Nobody's covering and hard to decipher, but we thought we'd show you a double on a squeeze bunt play because when do you see that? Said a shock Thompson. I don't think I've ever seen a double come out of a bunt. I think it's the first time we've squeezed all year. The game would have marked what would have been Pittsburgh's first series sweep this year. Expos trying to stop the four-game slot against Houston. Derek May in the middle just came over from the Brewers this afternoon. Top of three. Errors killing the Expos. Will Cord Cordero, I said. Picks it up and throws it right into the wall. Not good. E6. Later in the inning, two outs. Mark Grezelanek can't handle that ground ball. E5. And that would hurt because the next batter, Tony Eusebio, takes that pitch and drives it deep to center. Rondell White is just a touch too shallow off the base of the wall. That scores two. Astros lead three to one. Then in the fourth, more trouble. Jeff Bagwell, blooper to right field. Lansing, Tarasco. We have another summit. Everybody's safe. And then later in that inning, Mark Grezelanek. Potential double play ball here. And that throw is no good. And that's four errors. And you're not going to win when you commit four of those or three of those. Astros win at five to three. Greg Swindell now two and zero oh with a two. Places have been McDonald, top of two, first pitch, Paul O'Neill. There is no porch at Camden Yards, but he parks it out there anyway. Solo shot, yanks up one love. Then Andy Pettit gets Manny Alexander to go to his room. Yanks still up one nothing. And then top of five, Bernie Williams batting. He's a righty, and he likes to face the lefties. Forget it. Now the Yankees lead two to nothing. Bottom of eight, same score. Bob Wickman on in relief against Jeff Manto. Been hot lately, not anymore. Fastball high heat. Bottom of nine, John Wetland. Some more heat gets Harold Baines and the Yanks. Or a winner two to one. I pitched just well enough to lose, said Jamie Moyer, who gave up five hits over seven. The Yanks. First time Goodwin lays down the bunt. Mike Bilecki. Throw to first. Check out JT Snow's foot. It's off the bag. Goodwin is called out. Bob Boone. Comes running out of the dugout, not happy. He would later be tossed top of four. John Nunnally, well hit. Jim Edmonds, watch Jimmy. Times it, jumps, and does he have it? No. Dinger for Nunnally is eighth. The Royals win. Noli Smith, you never know. Chili Davis on the 15-day DL with the strike. Sits down Sammy for the third time of the day, and Andy's fifth strikeout. Then the mental collapse for the Cubs. Men on first and second, two out. Rick Wilkins picks off Ken Caminetti. Caught in the rundown. Ray Sanchez chases him to first. No one's covering the bag. He's safe, and Steve Finley scores from second base, making one nothing Padres. Top of nine, one out. Rick Wilkins trying to tie it up, well hit, and watch Steve Finley. Do the dance, make the glove, save the day. Padres win, one zip. Finley said the catch was something you dream of as an outfielder. Losing pitcher Steve Traxel re retorted, Finley got lucky. I don't know how he made that catch. Tony Gwynn was given the day off, missing his. What happened to it? wasn't working. Or and something. there's <laughs> another hole in the ozone. Get out of here. one nothing Tigers. First homer allowed this season by Tooks. Top of seven, one nothing Tigers. This Luis Ortiz at bat. One runner on. Doubles off the wall and left. Mike Pagliarulo tries to score from first. Bobby Higginson, the throw from left, and Pags out at home. And you young catchers, watch John Flaherty block the plate with his right shin guard. That is just textbook. Felipe Lira looking on after pitching eight and one-third scoreless innings. Juan Gonzalez on third base with two outs in the top of the ninth. Mike Henneman pitching pags, grounds out to end the game. Lira gets the win. Tigers win it on the longest day of the year. The Tigers and Rangers played the second shortest game of the season. It took a total Eight, Craig Paquette. Second home run of the game off of Brad Radke. That ties things at two. Top of nine, same score. Jeff Rebele pinch running. Matt Walbeck. The single off of Jim Corsi. Rebele comes in to score. Tom Kelly and the Twins get their first series win of the year. They take it three to two. They took two out of three from Oakland. Craig Paquette goes three of three with two home runs. Brewers and Blue Jays at the dome. Top of four. What we have here is a high fly ball to left field. Joe Carter settling under it to end the inning, but he has not found that ball in the lights. It's ruled a double. Greg Vaughn scores. 
Now game tied at six. Carter on third. Ed Sprague grounded a short. Valentin comes home. Carter ruled safe at the plate. Maybe, maybe not. Blue Jays up seven to six. Top of nine bases loaded. Valentin golfs one off of Mike Timlin. Park does not hold that. Grand slam. And the Blue Jays up 10 to eight would win a 10 to nine. Kevin Seitzer has nine hits in his last 18 at bats. He's hit safely in seven straight. Robbie Alomar's hit safely in 13.